Ayun. Okay. Okay. Oh, Tita Tafe. Yeah, we start with the question, how do we communicate with God? Uh, in the Old Testament, you know, people offered animal and blood sacrifices and then prayed to God. That that's that was their way of communicating with God. But when Jesus died, he paid the ultimate sacrifice. And so we Christians of this age, you know, the dispensation of the Holy Spirit or the grace dispensation of grace christians do not anymore uh, sacrifice animals and blood uh, to pray to offer to god but prayer still remains the same it remains constant what will happen to us if there's no more way or we don't anymore pray to the lord we don't need prayer anymore we think we don't need prayer what what's going to happen what would be the consequence so the the world will turn upside down right so we come to the uh, i i would like first before we touch uh, uh, the scripture that we have prepared tonight um something to get an idea about a symphony Anybody who knows what a symphony is, and if you you know how how do you describe symphony? Yung po is a music. Uh, yes. Diba? Uh huh. Yung mga different instruments, mga ano, mga ano. The difference between symphony and orchestra. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Ano ang masasabi mo? Um, about a symphony or orchestra. The <clears throat> Everyone must uh, aim for I know, uh, harmonious uh, music mm -hmm. that will produce. Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, uh, in a symphony, large scale uh, composition ng, ng music uh, tapos usually there are three or four groups you know sometimes they play together at other and then at other times you know or at any time during the uh, the performance um, they play separately but still they are in harmony you know, anytime one group plays or three, three of the groups play, or maybe the whole, the whole group, the whole four groups play. Uh, iba iba ang it, ang ang composition nilang piniplay, pero still they are in harmony. So in this scripture we have uh, for tonight we have Matthew eighteen. 19. Uh, yeah. So, anybody would like to read that scripture? Uh, ako na po ang um, sige. So, I again, truly I tell you, two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Okay, thank you. And uh, let's focus first on the word agree. Um, as you read the word, uh, the scripture with the word agree, what can you think about prayer in agreement as expressed in this scripture? Does it mean, does it necessarily mean that uh, the members of the group or everybody come together? and pray together at the same time or is there yes that is also acceptable but is there any way uh, that we can pray uh, together not necessarily um, in that idea this okay 
I ask again, does the word agree here imply that the members of the group praying should be together in one place and be praying at the same time? Does it necessarily mean that in the scripture? Um, yes or no? Apparently, no. Parang no, eh, no? Yes, <laughs> it's right, not necessarily right. at the same place at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, pwede pong magkahiwalay, ganyan. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Pero iisa yung ano, parang layunin or iisa yung ano ng prayer nila, yung direction right, of it. Right, right. Right. It does not necessarily mean that we stay in one place and pray together, you know, at the same time. Maari ding iba-iba ang lugar like what we are doing now, you know, at saka maaring ibang oras. Halimbawa, alas 7 ng umaga, nagpre-pray ako sa kitchen. I'm doing, even if I'm doing something, I'm praying regarding regarding that common common thing yeah sa katulad ng sinasabi niyo pastor Tin uh, praying over one thing you know or a common thing let's say for example uh, to, for covid for god to stop covid then i may be praying in my home at 8 in the morning somebody else will be praying about it you know uh, probably let's say at 10 in the morning somebody else somewhere you know may be praying for the same thing let's say at 12 noon etc etc that still is agreeing in the prayer so okay rin okay rin yung understood din na all right yung praying together at the same time in the same place but it also carries the idea of praying at different times in different places uh, regarding a common a common need okay any question malina po professora malina <laughs> okay, Let, let's read together the scripture because in reading, you know, we get blessed, you know, and we, and usually we get anointed also um, while we are preparing ourselves to pray over a list of needs. So let's pray, let's read together this scripture from Matthew 18 19. Go. Again, Again truly, truly I, tell I tell you that if two of you, of you on earth, earth agree about, about anything, anything they ask for, it, it will, will be, be done, done for them, them by, by my, my Father, Father in, in heaven. heaven. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's a beautiful promise. Then in Mark, let's go to Mark. 11 24 therefore i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be done it will be yours okay what can you say about this scripture when we pray we have this feeling don't we and what is that feeling what what does it tell us when whatever we feel, you know, when we have the scripture in mind, we have that something, a feeling inside. What you do, what what do you think it is? It is something intangible. Starts with F. Faith. You right? Yes, right. It you see. Um, believing it says believe that you have received it and it will be yours believe believing what we have prayed for implies faith and so this scripture tells us the power of faith why because we receive when we have that faith we will receive it especially this time covid time we, we really need 
a strong faith so that God can grant what we really want. But you see, Christians really know what it means to have faith in the Lord. But sometimes, that is why sometimes we are uh, accused by people who don't know the word of God, you know, the Bible. And they will say, oh, the Christian, Christians are hypocrites. You know why? Because we exercise our faith. Sometimes, uh, for example, when a, per, when a member of the family is sick and somebody asks, how is so-and-so? And then the answer would be, he's okay. You know, he's okay if there's nothing serious happening. And then they will say, oh, he's not yet well. He cannot go out of the house yet. He's not yet strong. But the mother said he's okay. What a hypocrite, right? Have you, have you come across anything like that in your, in your life? I have, you know. Sasabihin nilang, hypocrite ang Kristiano. Hindi pa nga magaling sinasabi ng magaling na. But we are exercising our faith as Christians. And so the scripture says or implies faith in the scripture. When we believe, we have faith and we receive what we have asked for, right? Any question? Kung walang question, I don't know if you, you, you enjoyed the scripture or you, you understood my explanation or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay now sometimes we can pray or ask a miss what do you think is a miss how do you define a miss hmm? how do how do we define a miss the word a miss Sometimes we can make a mistake in our prayer. And so unknowingly, we pray amiss. Amiss means asking or praying, not in accordance to the will of God. Not having sought the will of God. And I will cite to you an example, Some, because sometimes of the urgency of the need, you know, we forget, we just go to God and, and, and then persist in our prayer that God will grant what we think is good for us. But it is important that we seek the will of God. In our prayers, it is important, therefore, that we say, according to your perfect will, or let your will be done. I'll give you an example. There was a teacher in my home city once, and she had, they had no children for five years, and so she wanted very much to have a, a, a child. And so there was a baby born to a Muslim family. And because the Muslim was an educated person he had this was an educated family you know not the uh, not yung mga nakakatakot so she adopted the baby and you know the child she sent to school you know when she was he was six years old this is a boy and the from the time that the the the, the boy was in school the prince there was not a day when the principal would not call the mother regarding the misbehavior of the boy. Kasi daw, lumabas pa rin ang ugali ng tribo nila. Until he graduated from high school, marami maraming mga troubles na undergo ng mother sa korte, sa pera nila, sa consumption, and so on and so forth. And she regretted for having done so. And she said she she really prayed so hard so that she could have her husband and she could have a son, you know. Hindi niya, hindi niya sinabing, Lord, let it be the, your will 
for my husband and me to adopt a child. So naging parang nagsisi sila kasi nagtiis sila ng husto. Also, we can make a mistake by being importunate. Importunity. What do you mean by import importunity or importunate? May merong scripture hindi ko na malala yung I tried to Google you know the reference of that verse yung about importunity hindi ko parin makuha and importunity is defined as urgent persistence urgent persistence most likely hindi nasik ang will of God so example. There was an American missionary to my city. Um, when two years after they got married, they had a, a, a baby girl. And when that girl was two years old, nagkasakit siya ng polio. And then, ayawang ko kung ano pa yung sakit. And the mother did not what of course being a mother she did not want to lose her child and so she she prayed and prayed she screamed to the lord you know to give the bay her baby back to her and she would even go she even went to the extent of hitting the wall you know to plead to the lord that he god would give her the baby back kasi medyo wala na siyang ano and so god granted her prayer she gave she, god granted her desire and the baby uh, was became alive and you know what from the time on the baby grew uh naging special siya hindi siya makakalakad and this missionaries um had to go from one place to another siempre and they they had a hard time adapting themselves you know in every new place that they would be in and here was a problem to them their child who, who could not walk um incapable of walking she couldn't even talk well sabi niyang mother so she regretted very much because especially because this couple, the missionaries, would go to the mountains because they would see the need for them to evangelize in those places. So ito ay importunity, which means an urgent persistence for God to grant what one is asking for. So it is like convincing God God has his own will. Probably ayaw ng Diyos sila mabigyan ng anak para hindi sila sobrang mahirapan whenever they would go from city to city. But of course, being a mother, gusto niyang makip yung child niya. At saka hindi niya siguro na seek ang will ng Lord. Probably the will of God was for them to be free from raising a child so that they can raise spiritual children without problems without difficulty and so ganon ang mga nagsisisi oo now my question is how do we avoid praying amiss how do we avoid praying amiss Huh? Feel free po to unmute yourselves. Ha? <laughs> how, do we, how, how do we avoid importunity or praying amiss? How do we avoid that? Um, para sa akin po, yung nap napaka-importante na quiet time. So if we have our uh, quiet time with God na not just like tayo yung magpo-pray, magpo-pray ganyan. 
But we also have to listen. Yeah. And hindi po natin maririnig ang Diyos kapag ka talagang maingay mm-hmm. ang surroundings. Mm-hmm. Um, so yung quiet time, yung devotion time is really important para mangusap naman sa atin si Lord. Parang mm-hmm. Kasi para po sa akin, ano eh, si Lord talagang nagsasabi siya ng mga plano. Mm-hmm. So He can tell us kung ano yung yung mga gusto niya, mga ganon. At saka sa ano, sa Bible na rin, when we, mm-hmm. when we read our Bible. So, we mm-hmm. also get answers. Mm-hmm. Um, Another question. Has okay. any one of us or any one of us have uh, experienced having prayed amiss? Ako? Yes. Ha? <laughs> Maraming beses po. <laughs> Yeah. Yung iba, meron ba kayong naranasan sa inyong prayer life that you had prayed amiss? Ako. Marami, lalo na ako sa love life ko dati. <laughs> Ganon. Oo. Oh, oh. mm-hmm. ah, Ito yung sa love life. Ayan. Brother, si brother, ano, pangalan ng brother natin. Brother Aldrin. Yes, Brother yeah, Aldrin. Ito nakangiti eh. Parang marami siyang kwento eh. <laughs> Oo. Mayroon ba kayong experience of having <laughs> prayed amiss? Um, amiss. Pinagsisiyan. Mayroon ba tayo pinagpray na pinagsisiyan natin? Uh, ano sa Christian Standard Bible sabi, you ask and don't receive because you ask with wrong motives so that uh-huh. your pleasures. Uh-huh. Kaya daw hindi ka nakakatanggap kasi iba yung motibo mo, mali yung motibo mo kasi yung motibo mo para lang sa sarili mo kaligayahan or pleasure or dito sa kabila last day. Eh. Yan yung ano. Medyo... Uh-huh. Nahihirapan kasi ako intindihin si Amis ngayon ko lang siya na... Ha, na <laughs> ngayon ko lang na-encounter si Amis. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Kayo, brother. Uh... Siguro po sa amin po, ano, yung... You pray... Yung, yung, yun nga po yung sa love life, you pray na you find the right one, tapos masyado pong namadali. Okay, kaya ay pumaga po ako nagkasama. <laughs> I was only here 21 nung nagkinasal kami ni Yasmin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Hindi naman masama yun. Because... <laughs> Pero we could have waited sana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Po. Kaya yun po. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Pastor Norbert. Yes ma'am. Present. <laughs> ano po siguro ma'am yung question niya ma'am eh, ano yun yung para maiwasan ba yung uh, importunity or yung you ask a miss uh-huh. siguro yung isang bagay na sinabi ni Pastora Christine yung you better uh, have a quiet time listen and maybe you have to ponder what you are asking for Mm-hmm. Kung talagang ito'y kailangan mo o hindi, then that is the time you ask God. Mm-hmm. And and if ever na you ask God, just leave it to the Lord and let His will be done. Mm-hmm. Yun nga, para maiwasan yung uh, at the end, kagaya na yung mga illustration nyo, they regret afterwards. Mm-hmm. Siguro kapag ito'y pinagkalb mo sa Panginoon, whatever the Lord's answer, siguro that is the best siguro. Kahit na even though sometimes you you don't like it or hindi mo ayun sa yung uh, inihingi, but at the end, ito'y palay para sa ikabubuti mo. Mm-hmm. Ang ano ko po siguro doon eh, just give it to the Lord, don't be in a hurry think about it, ponder about it, and yun nga, uh, siguro po, listen to the Lord yeah. sa tinig niya. 
kasi minsan na uh, nag-speak na para si Lord sa iyo. Huwag mo muna ng hingi nito. Eh yun nga, yung mga iba gagaya ng illustration niyo. Nagmamadali sila. Sometimes they regret at the end. Siguro yung pong ano natin, if we made a mistake during the past, we learn through our mistake and we gain wisdom. Mm-hmm. Eh, siguro kapag nagmamature tayo sa ating mga prayer eh, minsan hindi tayo dapat nagmamadali. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's look at it. Uh, kung ito ba'y talagang ayon sa kaloba ng Panginoon o ito'y kagaya ng nabanggit ni Pastor Jeff eh, na ating punong pastor na baka ito'y ano mo lang, guni-guni mo lang o yung pang sarili mo lang. Kaya it is a miss. No? It is for yourself gratification. Mm-hmm. Hindi para sa ikaluwalhati ng Panginoon. Mm. And we suffered from the consequences, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ako rin na-experience ko rin na. So, sa choice ng husband ng isa kong anak. So, nag-suffer sa consequences. Yeah. How about the rest? Sino ang in, would like to speak out para maano yung experience ng importunity or having prayed amiss? Yung sa sa ano po sa ministry, kasi uh, sabi nga dito, in, umihingi ka kasi sa ibang verse sabi. Ask and you will receive. Pero dito naman, sabi ni James, o nga, ginawa mo yung ask, pero hindi ka makareceive. Kasi nga, uh, wrong, wrong motibo yung, mali, mali yung motibo ng puso mo. Uh-huh. Hindi Holy Spirit led yung, yes. yung iyong intention. Kung baga, gusto mong isatisfy lang yung kapritso mo. Halimbawa, uh-huh. parang ganun. Uh-huh. Halimbawa, bukas, sabi ko, iba na ang pangalan ng church natin. Jeffrey's Church na, di ba? So, obviously yun, you ask, no? Mm. Yes. Kasi, ano na yun eh, kumbaga, wrong motive. Mm. Gagawin yun, di ba? So, mm. baga, uh, ang natutuwa lang ako sa simbahan natin ngayon, we we don't move unless the Holy Spirit tells us to move. Kahit mm. na minsan, magandang pakinggan, mm. minsan, ma- makikinabang tayo. Hmm. Susubuan din kasi tayo ng enemy niyan. Eh. Oh, para sa Lord naman to Makikinabang kayo dyan. Diba? Gawin nyo yan. Pero mm. pag ginawa natin, derailed na tayo. Parang ganun. Mm. So, kumbaga, importante talaga na iisang tabi mo muna yung kagustuhan ng puso mo. Mm. So, bago yung, ano, dapat, uh, kahit na hindi ka komportable, basta ramdam mo naman na yun ang pinapagawa ng Diyos. Mm. Eh, gawin mo lang magkasunod ka lang then mm-hmm. see the result and then mm-hmm. masarap yung pakiramdam na ma-witness mo na buti na lang sumunod ako kasi kung hindi hindi ko ma-witness yung nangyari maganda para mm-hmm. so, para maiwasan yung wrong motives ng puso natin lagi natin unahin ng Diyos huwag tayong makikinig sa sarili natin sasabi-sabi ng ibang tao makinig tayo palagi sa Diyos Diba? Kasi diba, ipagpunta na lang ni David sa labanan ni Nicolaiot. Eh, diba? Katakot-takot na discouragement. Wala sa tatay niya, mga kapatid niya, kay King Saul. Diba? Pero nagpatigil, nagpapigil ba siya? Nilabanan niya pa rin si Goliath. Diba? Mm. So yung ads na nga, mababa. Baga sa betting sa may Las Vegas, walang tataya kay David. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Kasi lamang na lamang yung kalaban. Pero yung motibo ni David eh, hindi naman ito patungkol sa akin. Eh. Patungkol sa mm-hmm. akin. So, yeah. ko lang siya. Diba? So, Thank you, Pastor. Importante talaga ang filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, kahit na dalawang tao lang or few only are praying over something in common, when they are filled with the Holy Spirit, they are much better. The small number of Holy Spirit-filled people is are much better kaysa yung 200, 100 na hindi filled with the Holy Spirit. Sa simbahan natin, I give the glory to the Lord. Whenever I, I stand behind the pulpit, you know, 
I could feel the presence of God. Totoo yan. That's one of my testimonies about our church. Whenever I, I, I stand on the stage or behind the pulpit, I could feel the presence of God through the Holy Spirit. Kasi ang ating pastor mismo, the pastoral staff, and the members also, you know, uh, ganun ang attitude toward the Holy Spirit. And so, magaling talaga yung idea. It's a nice, a good idea when we really listen and to the uh, leading of the Holy Spirit and what he desires for you, for us. Oh, praise the Lord. And so in the prayer, my father had taught me, sa prayers ko daw, sabi niya, always say, according to your will. Yes. Or let thy will be done. When we are asking for something like that, you know, ganun ang ano niya. Ano po kasi tita eh, mutual kasi yan eh. Hmm. The Holy Spirit will give instructions. Yeah. Pero kung hindi naman tayo mag-obey, wala rin. Mm -hmm. Kasi may eye-opener sa akin na mm -hmm. nagsabi sa akin itong isang araw lang. Sabi niya sa akin, uh, kasi ano eh, uh, pinupuri niya yung simbahan natin. Na, wow, mm -hmm. you're great. You, know, you were able to turn it around. Sabi niya ganun. Mm -hmm. Mm. So, ako naman in all humility di ba normal na sagot natin well praise the Lord mm -hmm. to God kasi nga you don't wanna take take the glory away from God tapos mm -hmm. meron siya in-explain sa akin na nag-open ng eyes ko no? mm -hmm. sabi niya sabi niya uh, well I, 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 I get you no? sa akong baga you're giving all the glory to God and that is good pero you need also to understand uh, when you say that it is all Holy Spirit. Uh, remember that the Holy Spirit was already there mm. before you come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it opened my eyes. Oh, nga naman, ano? <laughs> the reason why it clicked, it produces result, is mm -hmm. that because you obey and your team obeyed. Mm. So... You see the yung, yung dynamics when the Holy Spirit works and then you obey, then mm -hmm. positive result I know, will be seen. Mm -hmm. okay, so so we cannot say na it's all it's all it's it's all Holy Spirit. Kasi lagi yung sinasabi ko no, Holy Spirit lahat yan. Then I realize ko not necessary to take part of the glory, but I need also to acknowledge yung participation natin which is yung obedience mm -hmm. and if you say na Holy Spirit yan you're also saying na wala yung Holy Spirit before you guys came mm -hmm. kasi the Holy Spirit is always there mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is just waiting for the people na mag-obey at mag-agree sa kanya mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nakuha niyo pa yung difference yes. so it is a mutual relationship sa atin ng Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Kasi Holy Spirit naman, nandito naman sa mundong to eh. Mm -hmm. Pero a lot of people, every day, they defy the Holy Spirit. They don't wanna listen to the Holy Spirit. They don't wanna, yeah. kumbaga, they, they are disobedient to God. So, mm -hmm. wala talagang result. Mm -hmm. Ito sa masakit, masasamang pangyayari nangyayari. So, but, if you will obey the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. makikita mo talaga yung result ng maganda. Talaga. Wonderful. Ang, ang Diyos talaga. Thank you very very much, Pastor. Ang gandang uh, explanation and uh, inspiration as well. Sino pa may gustong sabihin bago tayo mag-pray? Wala... Siguro wala na, no? Okay. Kayo na, Pastor Atin. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat po. Kayo po ba, Sister Fepot? Meron kayo isa-share? Bago um, tayo mag-pray? Uh, sa praying, Ami, siguro yung pag mag-pray tayo, meron tayong isang prayer request. Pero minamadali natin ang answer 
So, hindi, wala pa yung sagot sa atin eh, gumagawa na tayo ng action against yung sa pinagpipray natin. Kaya, minsan, yeah. hindi, na, yeah, <laughs> hindi naging successful ang prayer natin, hindi na sasagot kasi wala pa yung sagot, inunahan na natin. Kumawa rin tayo ng action. Yeah. Yung parang ano, yung Bible study natin na Ishmael, ano? Uh, ano yun? The Ishmael, ano yung tawag nyo doon, Pastor Jeff? Yung Ishmael way? <laughs> yung kina Abraham tsaka kay Saray? Oh, ano? The Ishmael, ano? Uh, solution? Yung ba yung, yung term na ginamit nyo noon? Ano? Ah... Uh... Nasa dulo ng dila ako. <laughs> <Pag na-ibas. laughs> na- Yo, basta yun. The Ishmael, ano? Ayon ko lang sa Tagalog, no? In James 4.3. Dito, Santiago. Uh, ikaapat na kabana. Present. <laughs> Santiago nga, no? Santiago. <laughs> At humingi man kayo, wala rin kayong natatanggap dahil hindi tama ang inyong layunin. Pumingi kayo upang mapagbigyan ang inyong kalayawan. Tagalog. Yeah. Maganda sa Tagalog, no? Ayun, no? Maraming maraming salamat po, Profesora. Again, um, ito mga to, ito mga Bible verses na to, alam na natin to, pero it's a good reminder. Hmm. Lalo na sa atin na mga prayer warriors hmm. na laging, laging nananalangin. So, Ayun nga, uh, yeah, maraming maraming salamat po, Tita Fe, dahil uh, na-encourage ulit kami na you know, talagang magpatuloy sa pananalangin. Pero habang napapatuloy tayo sa panalangin, yung, ano, yung, yung pagiging Holy Spirit-led. Mm-hmm. And, uh, para, hindi, para hindi sayang. Alam mo kasi parang meron mga prayers na sayang eh. Kasi nga, hindi para sa uh, ikalulugod ng Diyos. Mm. Parang gano'n. Di sayang lang. Mm. Yeah. So, pero nakakatawa dahil ako over the years, hindi naman po ako ganito mag-pray noon. Like, yung, yung sinasabi dito yung mga para pang sarili lang. Ganun ako dati nung medyo bago-bago Christian. Pero napakabuti po ng Diyos na talagang siya yung nagbabago as time goes by. Ang uh, importante po dito ay hindi po ako huminto. So, natuto po ako kung paano manalangin, parang ganun. So, ayun, mm. praise the Lord. Uh, I-factor kasi yan eh. Lahat naman nagtakamali eh. Mm. So, pag huminto ka, tapos nagmukmuka na lang sa isang tabi. Dahil hindi sinasagot ni Lord the prayers, di ba parang... O kaya nawala ka, iwala. Oo. Yung faith, importante, di ba? Mm. Dalawa kasi yan eh. It's either maging Peter ka or Judas. So, mm. Peter eh, si Peter at si David yung nagkamali, mingin ang bawat. Di ba? Mm. Eh, si Judas na nagkamali, nalungkot din naman siya para si Peter at si David. Pero mm. hindi siya mingin ang bawat eh. Nagmukmuk lang siya hanggang sa nagpakamukmuk siya. Di ba? So tayo, masasabi ba natin na mas malinis pa tayo sa ibang taong makasalanan? baka nga kasi dumi rin natin sila o baka mas madumi pa tayo, <laughs> di ba? So, pero ang difference kasi natin eh ano, dumalapit tayo sa Panginoon. Di ba? Kasi minsan madami na din sa Marcano eh. Mga buhay niyo naman eh. So, kumbaga, tapos church church pa kayo. Ano, the more kang nagkakamali sa buhay, the more kang mag-church, the more kang lumapit sa Diyos. Mm-hmm. Pag lumayo ka, yari ka na. Don't mm-hmm. trap ka ni Satan. Pero yeah. pag lumalapit ka pa, kasi pag may intensyon sa puso mo na lumalapit ka, hindi ka pababayaan ng Diyos. Maniwala ka yan. Kahit na sablay-sablay ka pa. Kasi tingnan niyo yung prodigal son, lumapit eh. Mingi ng tawad, bumalik. Di ba? Pwede naman na hindi ka na bumalik eh. Di ba? At uh, alam niyo yung ugali na eh, andito na to eh, amo na, si na pariwara na, di magpakapariwara na. Alam niyo yung mga ganun, naririnig niyo ba yun? 
Hmm. Uh, eh, ba, ano may bawa, uh, prostitute, eh, doon ka, nababoy na ako, papakababoy na ako. Di ba? Yeah. Mm-hmm. O, isang kabataan halimbawa na na-involve sa premarital sex, o, total, may gumamit na sa akin, hindi yung papagamit na ako sa lahat ng mga kilala ko. Mm-hmm. Kabataan na na-involve sa, ano, sa, sa drugs, eh, total, lulong na ako, di dire-diretso na. Mm-hmm. Parang yung ganong attitude. Mm-hmm. Pagka ganun yung attitude natin sa buhay. Hmm. pag uh, mas mahihirapan si Lord na ipapalikin tayo. Pero kung ikaw, alam mo, na sablay ka, tapos lumapit ka, ayan, dyan nagsisimula ang healing sa pagbalik. Kahit na nakas- kamali ka ulit, balik ka ulit, kamahiya. Hmm. Lahat naman tayo, ganyan. Hindi mo, lahat naman tayo, nasa proseso. So, kaya ang titigil, dari-diretso lang. Hmm. Diba? Praise the Lord. I'm so glad talaga, Pastor, na kayo ay sold out to the leading of the Holy Spirit talaga. Mm-hmm. Kasi important. It's the Holy Spirit that makes everything happen, you know? Yeah. Yung... Isang tabi natin ang Holy Spirit. Hindi mm-hmm. gagalaw ang simbahan. Magiging ano tayo, club. Mm-hmm. Yes. Saan nagkikita kayo? Yes. Dahil uh, gusto lang nating magtawanan or maging masaya or di ba? So, ba yes. Sa simbahan naman eh, kumbaga meron talagang napunta ng simbahan dahil gusto nilang ma-bless si Lord. Mm-hmm. Bless nila si Lord at i-bless ni Lord yung puso nila. Mm-hmm. Pero naman iba, napunta ng simbahan para pampatanggal lungkot dahil nalulungkot sila dito sa Amerika at uh, mm-hmm. punta ng simbahan. Di ba? So, may, may kanya-kanyang dahilan. Mm. Pero uh, pag inisentabi mo ang Holy Spirit, mm. palagang ano, uh, sigurado mali ang ating direksyon. Praise the Lord. Saka nga po kasi simbahan niya, hindi naman natin simbahan niya. <laughs> Lagi natin tatandaan yun ano, na hindi natin simbahan yun, simbahan ni Lord yan. Minsan mm-hmm. naaari natin eh. Di ba? Minsan mali yung attitude natin na, oh amin to. Di ba? O kaya, huwag kayong pupunta dito, simbahan namin to. Hindi kami pupunta dyan, simbahan nyo. Or ano yun, yung mas magaling simbahan namin, mas maganda yung boses ng aming ano, mga mm-hmm. leader, o mas pogi yung pastor namin, o mas, mm-hmm. uh, mas magaling sa magturo yung pastor namin. O, wala. That is all wrong because this is this all our churches belong to one God. Yes. Hindi natin pwedeng i-claim na ano, mm. kayo ay mga servants sa vineyard mm. ay gagawa lang sa ubasan. Praise mm. God. That is so true. Ayun po ay pantay-pantay lang sa mata ng Diyos. <laughs> All right. So, nako, again, maraming maraming salamat po, Tita Fe. Sino po ba ang naka-schedule next week? Si Rachel ba? Si Rachel ata. Anyway, um, isi-send ko na lang po ulit yung ating schedule just in case na nakalimutan na natin. So, um... Sorry, habang nanganganap. <laughs> Pastora pa kay... Excuse me. Pastora pa kay post ulit yung schedule, ha? Opo, I will. Kumakita eh. <laughs> okay. Ayan, sige. Tapos, slide na. Ito. Ah, po. Ito sa akin. Ah. Okay, slide one. Ah, si Aldrin. Slide two. Si Ate Jasmine. Slide three. Si Tita Fepot. Slide 4, si Tita Fe. Uh, slide 5, si Pastor Bert. Ayan. Slide 6, ako na. Pastor Jeff? Okay na. Tapos Pastor Jeff, siguro ikaw na rin ang mag-closing tsaka benediction. Para direction tayo. Okay. Ayun. Okay po ba? Okay, di pala. Sasabihin ko naman, na- nailista ko na po. <laughs> okay, so, uh, hey. Aldrin, kayo na po ang mag-start. Uh, before mag-start, ba ako, before ang mag-start, Pastor Tin, palang mag-thank you sa, ano, sa worship team. 
este tap ng opportunity na mapaglingkod sa Diyos. And nung nagkatiwalaan mo ko na ano na yung mag-lead sa kanila nung Saturday and Sunday sa practice pati sa worship. Thank you. And it's an honor to be chosen by God. Amen. God is good. Lahat tayo pantay-pantay. Tandaan mo yan. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, we are all humble servants. Yes. Di ba? I think din sa pagsagot mo kay Lord. Di ba? Yeah. <laughs> Oo. Kasi hindi lahat sumasagot ng katulad mo. <laughs> yes. 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 din kami sa ano, pamilya niya. Nakabless kayo. Mm. Bless. Um, yes. Yeah. Bless, bless kami sa inyo. Na, yeah. So, so you... lang na-bless ako sa... Sabi ko nga eh, uh, sa gilas, isang pamilya lang ang dumating, tumubo na ako eh. Yeah. Kasi alam mo ba, yung gilas, isa sarado yan. <laughs> ah, di, di ko ba nakwento sa yan? Hindi <laughs> pa. Nung turnover, nung turnover yan. Nung ako, nung ako na ang magiging senior pastor, isa sa ano yan, uh, isa sarado na hindi na hindi na bubuksan ulit. No, pero tumaya tayo at... Uh, pinuksan nuli natin, no, ginasasan natin. Sabi ko, isang pamilya, tumubo na ako. O, isang pamilya pa. Diba? So, kung baga, profit yan eh. So, profit. O, nakaka-bless yung pamilya nyo, tapos nabibless ka rin dahil nakapaglingkod ka. Diba? Panalo tayo lahat. Diba? Panalo, Thank you, Lord. Diba? Panalo rin si Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Tsaka patuloy natin pinagpo-pray ang mga gilas. Ah, madami pa dyan na susunod. Marami pa yan. Yes. Kaya, nako, exciting. Exciting tayo. Pag-pray din po natin sila. Oh, yeah. Tsaka si Pastor Rave, eh, masipag na, na tsaka si Pastor Bert at si Pastor Rave nagmasipag na talagang nagtuturo sa kanila tuwing Sabado. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, ito po tayo. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Um, at kami po ay nagtipon-tipon po, Lord God, para po manalangin po sa inyo. Mm-hmm. Lord, uh, before anything else, we just want to honor you and worship you, Lord God, and give you all the glory, O Lord Jesus, O Lord. Clean, cleanse our hearts, Lord God. Forgive us our sins, Lord God, na maging uh, worthy po kami sa presensya po ninyo, O Lord God. And Lord, we pray na, um, na marinig niyo po ang aming mga Uh, dalangin at uh, salamat salamat po in advance dahil alam po namin na uh, sasagutin niyo po mga prayers po namin oh Lord God and Lord we pray Lord God for the LA First Church of the Nazarene pastoral staff mm. uh, spouses and mga anak po nila uh, we pray for uh, pastors ng La Filnas po si na Pastor Jeff po si Pastor Bert Pastor Ratin si Sister Claude po Uh, we pray po na um, gumaling na po si Sister Cled, O Lord Jesus. Nothing is impossible for you, Lord God, for you are our healer, O Lord. And uh, we pray for Pastor Bong and Pastor Rave, Lord God. We pray for the English congregation, Lord God, Pastor Josu, Pastor Dan, Pastor Michael, Pastor Pedro, Spanish congregation, Pastor Juan, Pastor Lina, the North Korean Mission Church, Pastor Jong Wan Lee, We pray for the South Korean Praise Church, Pastor Sung Dae Kim, Pastor David. Lord, uh, we pray for all church of the Nazarene pastors and leaders and all Christian church leaders all over the world, Lord God. May you give them strength, Lord God. May you give them endurance, Lord. May you give them wisdom and the knowledge that they need, Lord God, to do their jobs, Lord God. Para po mas marami pa pong Uh, mga souls po, Lord God, na ma-reach out po, Lord God, at um, mapalapit po sa inyo, Lord Jesus, na um, that more souls will grow into your knowledge, oh Lord God, makilala po namin kayo na mas mabuti, oh Lord God. And Lord, uh, uh, gabayan niyo po sila at protectionan na wala po uh, sakit or um, uh, masamang pwede mangyari, Lord God, give them protection against uh, Sickness, disease, illnesses, Lord God, we rebuke any of those, Lord. Uh, protect them from any danger, any accidents, oh Lord God, na maging safe po sila lagi, Lord God. And Lord, we pray that um, uh, they would always seek you, O Holy Spirit, O Lord God, and may they be sensitive po sa inyong presensya, O Lord God, na lagi pong uh, focus po nila ay gawin po ang inyong will, O Lord Jesus, O Lord. Lord, we pray 
na um, you would provide for them. Bigyan niyo po ng mga provisions, mga pangangailangan po nila sa araw-araw, oh Lord God. And Lord, alam niyo po ang kanilang mga heart's desires, oh Lord God, na sana po ay um, uh, mapa, uh, ma, ma, mangyari po ang mga heart's desires po nila at may ibigay po ninyo, Lord God. And Lord, we just uh, um, honor you and we love you, Lord Jesus. This we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Yes, um, Hallelujah. Tinataas po namin sa inyo, God, ang MCV Church staff and volunteers, administrative custodial and maintenance, Sister Star Brown, Pastor Dan Bayer, Brother Cortez, Brother Nick, Brother Charles, Brother Main. to you, Lord, our we lift up to you, Lord, our board members and their families, Pastor Bong, Sister Gerli, Tita Frey, myself, Sister Minda, and Sister Regia. We pray, oh Lord, and we continue to lift up to you, Lord, our families. Uh, we continue to bless us, oh Lord. Continue to cover us, oh Lord, because we know that you are our Jehovah. We pray, oh Lord, that you will heal all our prayers. We thank you, O oh Lord, na hindi niyo po kami pababayaan. Ilayo niyo po kami sa, sa virus na umiiral sa, sa kasalukuyan. We pray, O oh Lord, also for Brielle and Cled, Lord, na you will heal them, that they will not suffer more. O oh Lord, na simple lamang po kung ano mo mga symptoms na makuha nila. But we pray, O oh Lord, that you will heal them from the top of their head to the tip of their toes, O oh Lord. We lift up also to you, Lord, all our members and our fa their families. We pray for good health, for the safety of each member of the family, O oh Lord, for protection, for provision for all our needs, O oh Lord. We pray for the Anastasio, Scaraga, Banares, Beth, Bermudo, Carter, Sempron, Cruz, De La Cruz, Dumok, Formentera, Francisco, Kiwa, Isidro, Huko, Lopez, Madrid, Maranan, Veneses, Mundia, Pagio, Plan, Raimundo, Ruiz, Salayao, Ramadi, San Buenaventura, San Pilian, Sembrano, Tumaya, Valdez, Victorio, Ikoy. We show the Lord na when we pray, we lift up namin ang bawat pamilya, bawat pakala ng pamilya sa church. That's why we are reading all these names, Lord. And we pray, Lord, na all our prayers will reach heaven, O oh Lord. And we believe, O oh Lord, and we claim that you are protecting us, protecting our church, protecting all the families of our church, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we claim your promise, O oh Lord, that you will not leave us nor forsake us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All this we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, Tita Fe, kayo na po dito sa slide four. Oh, slide four? Ah? Oh, oh. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We lift up to you, O Lord, our church attendees. You know them one by one, dear God, the viewers, O Lord. You know them, O God, be with them and give them the opportunity, Lord God, to have op an open door for them to come into your kingdom, O Lord, through Jesus Christ, a Savior. May they be sincere and honest with you, especially because we don't have much time, O Lord, before Jesus comes again. There's no time to be wasted, dear God. Touch their hearts, touch their lives, O God. And may they feel, O Lord, the need of a Savior. And may they experience the love of God even before they have really come personally before the foot 
of the cross. <clears throat> may, they, may they come to the Lord God sincerely and receive Jesus Christ, O God, as the Savior and serve him, O Lord, in every way that they can. For every little thing, Lord, you honor and you are pleased, you, O God, and you bless for whatever is done for you. Protect them, O God, from COVID-19 and any other deadly disease that may be existing or will exist. Provide their needs, O God. Know that the know, O God, that whatever happens, dear Lord, you are there to protect them, to guide them, to give them wisdom and fill their hearts with the love and the peace, love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we, we commit all to you also our church ministries. We thank you for what has already been accomplished through your help and through the wisdom that is given to the Holy Spirit of the Lord. Thank you for supplying every need for these ministries, oh God. Thank you for the people, the young people, the kids, oh God, the adults, oh God, who have felt the peace, the love, and the joy in really being a part of this ministry. Bless it, O oh God, and may it increase, O oh Lord, so that we may be able to bring more souls to you through these groups, O oh God. Supply their needs. Bless them, protect them, give them wisdom, O oh Lord, even as they go to places, O oh Lord, where they know that they can bring, where there is need for people to be brought to you, O oh God, and to come to church and learn of you and know that there's no other God but you. Protect them, O oh God, and bless them to the uttermost, we pray. Now, God, for <clears throat> all activities in the church, we give you praise, we give you glory. You have manifested or uh, demonstrated, O oh God, your power in our church. We believe that, Lord, because we know, O oh God, that you have really been blessing us, O oh God, the pastors, O oh Lord, the members of the church board, the members of the church, all of us, O oh God, you have blessed because we have, you have, um, we have given, O oh Lord, the Holy Spirit to have his way in every section of the church of oh God. We thank you, Lord, for blessing the activities and, and um, making everyone blessed, oh God, through these activities, dear God. Understanding you more, receiving knowledge from you, experiencing what is good, oh God, with one another. We ask also for protection of the church equipment and instruments, oh Lord. They are set apart for you. They are for something to be used to serve you, O oh God, for the sake of the church. And we ask that you cover them, O oh God, with the blood of Jesus Christ, and that no hands will, will touch them at all because it is set aside for you. And we give you praise and glory for that. We ask also to bless our our district superintendent, Pastor Greg Garman and his family, Lord. We thank you for the love that he has for you and for all of us. We thank you for wisdom that you've given him. We thank you for his leadership, along with our pastors, oh God. Thank you for what you have done, oh God, through them and for, for your mercy and your grace, oh God, that has been manifested, oh Lord, in our lives. We praise you, we thank you, we bless your name, we magnify your, your name, and we commit all of this into your hands. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Pastor Bird. Pastor Bird. Okay. Continuing praying and seeking the will of the Lord sa mga idadalain natin ito sa world news, no? Let's pray for safe and effective the coronavirus vaccine and booster shots if needed. 
Yes, Lord, we continue to lift up this uh, uh, pandemic, Lord, that this pandemic will come to an end and uh, the vaccine will roll out and throughout, uh, not only here in America, but in other countries, mostly in third world countries, those four countries, so Lord God, na nahuhuli, Panginoon. Lord, uh, tinatas po namin ito, Panginoon, na ito ay maging... Uh, uh, sa kabuhan, Panginoon, ng sanlibutan, ito ay uh, magamit, Panginoon, para uh, maiwasan na, Panginoon, ang COVID na ito, Diyos. And we know that uh, ang mga medicine or mga ganitong paparanan ay ginagamit nyo rin, Panginoon. So, salamat po, Diyos, sa mga bagay nito at na mga taong ginagamit niyo. And we pray as well sa mga bansa na, Panginoon, na uh, who are affected by disasters, mga lindol, baha, Panginoon, o ano mga kalamidad. Lord, we remember them right now, Lord, uh, kung saan ang mga at present mga naapektuhan nito, Lord, be with them, comfort them, Lord God, and send help, Lord God, towards them. At gamitin niyo ang iglesia, Panginoon. And as well, Lord, we live up to you also this uh, coronavirus continuously, Father God, Lord, we know na ito, Panginoon, ay magkakaroon ng tuldok, Panginoon. Ito ay walang Panginoon na lahat ng bagay, Panginoon, alam namin ikaw ay makapangyarihan. At uh, sinasaway namin ito. We, we, we declare this uh, virus is powerless against your people, your children, Father God. We pull down the works of the enemy in Jesus' name. Uh, they have no power over your people. Ganon din po yung poverty, drugs, corruption, wars, terrorism, violence, crimes, and mga injustices na nagaganap, Panginoon. Uh, homelessness, especially dito sa America, Panginoon, Lord, even in our place here in California. Napakarami po, Panginoon, na uh, uh, homeless ngayon uh, nawa Panginoon ay makagawa ng kaparanan ng gobyerno na malunasan ito just give them wisdom Father God Father God yung LGBTQ Lord this group Father God they they need you Father God not only that they are asking for liberty or freedom but Lord kayo ang kailangan ng mga ito Panginoon mga group nito just na alam namin na matay ka rin sa kanila, Panginoon. So, we remember them even right now, Lord God, na sila, Panginoon, ay nawa, ay makakilala sa inyo. Human and drug trafficking, Lord, ito po yung napakalaking problema at uh, sinisira ang bawat pamilya, uh, Panginoon. Uh, in our society, Lord God, uh, rampant, Panginoon, ito, Panginoon, na uh, parang peste rin ang drugs nito at ang trafficking, human trafficking, Father God. So, Lord, uh, we pray na, Panginoon, na uh, ito'y magkaroon ng kalunasan, Father God, na gumamit po kayo, Panginoon, ng mga tao na susugpo nito, Panginoon, in the name of Jesus. And as well, Lord God, we pray for the nation of Israel, your chosen people, Lord God, that truly indeed, Lord God, they are your people, and yet they have not yet known you as their real Messiah. The line din po namin na sila ay Panginoon ay Panginoon na makilala sa inyo, Panginoon, na kayo ang kanilang Panginoon as Yesus Christo. Father God, so bless your, we choose to bless them. As you have said in your words, those who bless them will be blessed. And pagpalain niyo sila, Panginoon. And we lift up also to you, Lord God, yung mga businesses, mga establishment na naapektuhan ng pandemya, Panginoon. Lord, na wa, ay maging normal na at mag-open sila. Panginoon, na uh, ito yung mga kinabuboy nila, Panginoon, at ito yung nakakatulong sa community, Lord. So, Father God, bless all the businesses at yung mga establishment, Panginoon, worldwide. For all the world leaders, Father God, Lord, we lift them up to you, Father God, na nawak, Panginoon, sa mga pangyayaring ito, Panginoon, na aming nararanasan sa kasalukuyan na ito yung magbukas ng kaisipan nila at ng mga puso nila, Panginoon na walang makaka 
uh, resolve nito, Panginoon, maliban kayo, Panginoon. So we pray that our leaders, Panginoon, maging sa Amerika, ang ayong presidente, sa Pilipinas, ang lahat ng mga leaders, Panginoon, we pray that they will hear you, that they will have encounter you, Father God, na sila rin, Panginoon, and makakilala. And we pray for righteous leaders, Father God, even this coming election, Father God, sa mga bansa, lalong lang sa aming bansa, Panginoon, nawa. Yung mga matutuwid, Panginoon, Lord, we pray and we ask, Lord God, nawa, matuto na yung aming mga kababayan na pumili, Panginoon, na yung may takot sa inyo, O Joseph, uh, yung kaloba nyo, Panginoon, that they, we will seek, O God, your will, Father God. Sa pagkatalam namin kayo po ang nag-uupo ng mga leaders ng bawat bansa. So we just pray, Father God, that raise righteous leaders, Father God, at na sila rin, Panginoon, ay magkaroon ng tao sa inyo. Salamat po, Panginoon, at ganun din po, Diyos, we pray for the safety, protection, and provision, Panginoon, sa mga misyonero, Panginoon, na pumupunta sa mga ibang bansa na kung saan pinagbabawal, Panginoon, ang pangangaral ng iyong Evangelio. And we pray that uh, for your protection for them, Lord God, as they continue to spread, O oh God, your good news, Father God, sa mga unreached people group o kaya yung mga tao na Panginoon na napakahirap Panginoon na uh, to penetrate oh God, the gospel in their in their places. As well, we pray for intercessors, Lord God. Nawa Panginoon. Salamat po sa aming uh, grupo ito na inyong pinagkalob sa aming iglesia, Panginoon. Lord, we know that you, you are looking for people who will stand in the gap. And I believe this is uh, uh, sa panahon ito, Panginoon, na uh, we will stand and Panginoon sa mga nangyayari, Panginoon. Even to our family, we will stand, oh God, na sila yaming ipaglalaban, Panginoon. We will pray for them. And to those who are needy, oh God, sila ay aming itatas sa inyo. Father God, kami po ay manantiling uh, tapat, Panginoon. Kahit na ito lang ang aming ministeryo ay Uh, ito'y aming pinagpapasalamat, Panginoon. Alam namin na even though we are limited right now uh, in our space, words, Panginoon, yung word of encouragement tonight. As a brethren or God o magkakapatid siya, Panginoon, we declare and we decree tonight. We declare, Father God, there's no weapon forms against our family that will prosper, Father God. And we declare and we decree, Father God, that uh, there's no curse will be upon our family, but our family, O God, will be blessed. So salamat po Panginoon, pinangawakan namin ito Panginoon Diyos at ipagtatanggol mo at pagagalingin mo Panginoon at pagpapalain mo ang iyong mga anak maging sa oras na ito Panginoon. Ito ay amin ang inihiling at pinagpapasalamat na sa iyong pangalan aming Panginoong Yesu Cristo. Amen and Amen. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po. Yeah. Um... Dahil alam namin na nakikinig kayo sa amin, Lord. You yeah. said the words when two or three are gathered in your name, then you are in the midst. Lord, despite na magkakalayo po kami ngayon, nasa different areas kami, Lord God, and yet we know na kayo po ang nangunguna sa aming uh, prayer gathering, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po dahil um, pinaalalahanan niyo po kami, Lord God, that ilangan po yung mga pinapag-pray namin is within your will. Uh, Lord, ito pong mga tao na pinagpapray namin, Lord God. Ito po ay mga um, kahilingan po ng nila o ng pamilya nila, mga kaibigan nila, Lord God. And nakikisang ayon po kami sa kanila dahil po ito po ay para sa ikabubuti nila, Father. Pero Lord, um, kung may iba pa po kayong plano, Lord God, then um, kami po ay susunod lamang po sa inyo, Lord God. And right now, ang um, 
um, pinapapray po namin ay healing, Lord. Um, ito pong healing na to, Father God, is mostly for physical uh, healing, pero Lord, mas importante pa rin po syempre sa inyo ay yung spiritual healing nila. So before I pray for all of these physical healings, Lord God, I will pray for, we will pray, we will agree, Lord, that um, spiritual healing po uh, para po sa bawat isa sa kanila, Father God, that they will get to know you, that they will um, honor you and worship you and accept you as their personal Lord and Savior. Lord, uh, nilalapit po namin si Tara Gonzalez na may multiple cysts on both breasts Char fatty liver, Lord. Um, we pray for Nenet Bermudo, kanyang vertigo. Kay Walt, para sa CHF, Lord. Kay Lolo Ramon, na may dementia. At saka si OPD. Kay Maria, at kay Miss Krieger. Sa kanila pong unstable blood pressure. Kay Tita Cherry, Lord God, yung mga body aches and pains niya, Father. Um, kay Pastor Bert po, dun sa arm pain. Um, sa mass on back, varicose veins, and eye problems, Lord. Kay Danny, kay Jennifer Feliciano na may kidney problems. Kay Oli Bermudo na may swollen lymph nodes on the neck. Kay Betty na may pancreas problems. Kay Sister Fepot po na may trigger finger. Kay Tita Belma po na nasa ICU pa rin, Lord God, na ilang beses na po siya nag-flatline. Um... Pero ilang beses niyo rin po siyang binubuhay ulit. So, ito po yung nanay ni Con Godfather. Um, Lord, hindi po namin alam po ano po yung plano niyo sa buhay niya. But since um, paulit-ulit niyo siyang binubuhay, Father, then we know that she's not done yet. So, Lord, please uh, mangusap po kayo sa kanya, Father God. And, and please let her know na Mahal niyo po siya at mahal namin siya, Father God. And um, kay, para po sa mami ni Tita LV, at saka kay Juanito Feliciano na may dementia, kay Lydia na may Huntington's disease, kay Arlene uh, Haino, Gino, uh, na may diabetes, kay Tony na may diverticulitis, kay Noli na may low platelets, uh, kay Wina na may multiple lumps on her body, kay Karen, sa multiple cysts and ovaries, kay Said Asfahan na may multiple sclerosis, kay Chrysalin Ibarra na may end-stage kidney disease, at saka blindness on one eye, kay Sister Fe na may cyst on left eye, uh, kay Danilo Tabili na speedy recovery po from heart bypass, uh, ganun din po ang aking tito na si Rene, um, kay Lorna Schaefer, uh, Schaefer na um, a few weeks ago, we started praying for her dahil komatos po siya. Pero praise the Lord po dahil ginising yun na po siya. Um, pero Lord, nasa ICU pa rin. So patuloy pa rin po kami nananalangin ng kanyang speedy recovery. Um, kay Conrad po na may knee and ankle pain. Uh, kay Winnie na may tachycardia. Kay Claudio Alcaraz na may cough and fever. Uh, kay Urza po dahil nahulog po siya kanina at nagdugo ang kanyang gums pero maraming maraming salamat po dahil hindi po na po yung dugo. We pray na wala pong iba pang complications na mangyari sa sa kanya, Lord. And ganun din po kay Jiril na katatapos lamang po ng flu shot niya and he doesn't feel well. Um, and uh, Lord, we know Father God that you are the greatest healer. Kaya po sa inyo po kang malapit, wala na pong iba, Lord God yung kinakailangan po, Lord, ng mga medical uh, team na itong mga taong to, Lord God, and kayo po magbigay ng wisdom sa kanila, kayo po magbigay ng, um, ng, ng compassion sa kanila para po maalagaan sila. And Lord, I pray that you surround all of these people, Lord God, with uh, people that loves them, Lord, and would take care of them, Father God, at hindi uh, magsasawa o mapapagod sa pag-alaga sa kanila, Lord. I-bless niyo po lahat ng mga uh, nag-aalaga po sa kanila. Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po. This is in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we continue to pray, Lord God, for healing for Mila, Lynn, Daniel, Sheila Tolipa, Don Rachela, 
Diane's husband, Mike C, Aleth, Vina, Joanne, Zenith Sarabia, Elaine, Beth Bocalan, Aiza Madlangawa, Angie Galden, Regina Crowley, Agnes Rojas, uh, Lord lahat po sila, nagkakaroon ng problema sa sakit na cancer, Panginoon. Alangin namin na kaya po ang magpagaling sa kanila, ipuin niyo po sila ngayon. Uh, kung sila po ay nag-under pa ng therapy, Panginoon, uh, dalangin namin na kaya po ang mag-ibsan mag na uh, tanggalin niyo po yung pain, yung sakit, yung physical pain, yung emotional, yung yung uh, mental fatigue, Panginoon, at kaya po yung makap sa kanila at patuloy niyo po silang pagkalingin. We pray for those who currently have COVID-19, Panginoon, ngayon, uh, Norita, Ninita, Lee, Bermudo, G, and for those who are recovering from it, Uh, that they will not have any other complications. We pray, Lord God, na uh, ipuin niya rin po, Panginoon, lahat na may COVID-19 sa sa mga panahon ngayon na way matapos na ang pandemic na ito, Panginoon. At tandingin niyo kami panalangin at uh, bumalik sa normal, Panginoon, ang lahat. Talangin namin si Sister Pepo at Panginoon, yung ultrasound niya sa November 3. We pray, Lord God, for uh, uh, good results, Panginoon, at uh, Lahat po ay everything is uh, fine, Panginoon. We pray for Rene, yung kanyang heart bypass surgery recovery. We pray, Lord, na patuloy niyo po siyang uh, pagalingin, mag-recover sa kanyang uh, surgery, Panginoon. Uh, kayo po ang banal na dugo niyo po, Panginoon, ang tangin nila mga kapagpagaling sa kanila. Ngayon po ang aming uh, samot sa aring dalangin, Panginoon, sa ngalan po ng Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Amen. Sa gabi nito, tanggapin natin ang uh, asasalamat at uh, Uh, at uh, pagpapala ng ating Panginoon sa ating lahat. Uh, pagpalain nawa ang ating bawat isa sa gabi na ito. Dalangin ko na ang Panginoon ay sumay nyo, ang kapayapaan niya ay mapunta sa inyong mga puso at uh, mabuhay kayo at tumayo at ng, ng mapayapa. Uh, magandang gabi at uh, siya natatapos ang ating uh, prayer night, prayer gathering at uh, pagpalain tayong lahat. Amen. 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 Oh, maraming maraming salamat po. Good evening po pala, Tita Amy. Ay, pasensya na. Good evening, Tita Amy. Good evening po. Oo. Na nakapasok na pala kayo. Ay, nakamute po kayo, Tita. <laughs> Ay, oo nga. Na late na kami nakauwi. Ah, okay lang po yun. Ayan, ako. Na, matagal po ba kayo naghintay? sa pagpasok ng ano isa inyo hindi naman okay kasi nak nakapikit po yata kami lahat eh. <laughs> hindi namin kayo nakita <laughs> ay okay picture picture na oh may bumago na pa may bumago na nga hari ni nangyari no <laughs> yeah okay one <laughs> malaya <laughs> okay, one, two, three, smile. <laughs> hello, Malaya. Oh, oh, hello now. You're the small Malaya. Oh. Hi. Good night. Good night. Good night, Pastor. Good night, Good night, po, Professor, Sister Amy. Good night, Professor. Yes. <laughs>